Here I have the touch shield slide, the input shield, a double wide extender shield holding it all together, as well as a lithium backpack powering the whole uh, device. It's plugged directly into the slide. And I've also got an Arduino doing melanoma over here. So what Chris and I wrote today is one of our favorite programs. It's been on uh, Atari, it's been on the computer, it's been on flash games, it's been on my TI-83, and now it's here in the Arduino in my touch shield slide, which is Asteroids. This game is a lot of lines, uh, not too heavy on the graphics side, but a lot of physics involved actually. So to move forward, I just push up, and then like in the old game, if I want to turn clockwise, I push left, counterclockwise, push right, and then I just aim where I want to go and move. And if I want to, if I want to fire, I just hold down any button and just uh, aim and fire. So there's a lot of uh, the acceleration built in. For example, if I hold this down and just keep moving, it's going to start to move faster and faster. Um, and then also uh, the, the screen wrapping, which is a quintessential part of this game. Um, one of the fun things about this version of the game is that I actually don't die, so I can just keep playing. Run right into asteroids and have no problem. Um, and I'm not sure if you can see in the very corner, but there's also a score and lives there. So that, in a nutshell, is the uh, touch shield slide asteroids.